start with the reading Scorpio. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Make sure to check out the readings for all of your signs so that you can get a better understanding of your overall situation. Also, I am selecting people for free personal readings. Keep watching to know how to get selected. All right, let's see what we have here for you, Scorpio. Okay. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the beautiful Six of Wands. And whenever you have this energy in your environment, you're going to receive someone who is able to truly see you, to see who you are, even when you are trying maybe to hide certain things. This person will understand who you truly are and who you want to become. It's beautiful to have this energy because you're finally going to meet people or a specific person, a knight of wands, who is going to really focus on you. You know, at times you meet with people, you are around people who all they do is talking about themselves. Even when you start talking about something that is about you, they find a way to make it about themselves. But right here instead, we see the spotlights on you. This is someone who is truly wanting to listen to you because they definitely have an interest in you and perhaps already a connection with you. So this is really beautiful. And from what I see here is a nice change of uh, dynamic, finally. In fact, here we see with the Six of Cups reversed and the Moon ex exactly what we were saying earlier. People in the past who never made you feel seen. There were a lot of things that maybe you were doing, that maybe you were saying, and these people just were not listening to them, making you feel alone. And honestly, there is nothing worse than be, being in a relationship, sitting right next to someone and feeling alone in that room. You would rather be actually alone so that it wouldn't hurt as much. And so right here, that disappointment, that feeling invisible with the moon, it's going away. And for some reason, we will see what brings this person to you. You are entering this new phase of your life where you have either one or multiple people really focusing on you and trying to understand what your needs are. This is someone who clearly admires you as well. And someone who, when they think about you, they start becoming a little impulsive. But that is because of the passion that the Nine of Wands brings with it. This is someone charismatic, someone spontaneous, someone who they think about something and then they're able to make it happen in no time. They are almost fearless. And it's not because they haven't gone through bad situations, bad experiences in the past. It's because this person always tends to pursue their dreams and they're not scared by failure. They're scared by not even trying. That's what scares them. And so with you, it goes without saying that they just want to see you happy. They just want to... Uh, perhaps make you feel the same passion that they feel already for you. The Nine of Wands could be talking about someone actually traveling your way, someone who is making some sort of move here, and someone who wants you in their life. That's clear. Regardless of what the consequences of that move is going to be, are going to be, they don't care. They don't have pessimism. They are very positive. And this also represents a positive momentum. The energy around you right now is really conspiring in order for you to be with people like this, which is good. It's going to be a very nice improvement for you. And overall, with Three of Pentacles, I see that the two of you potentially are already on the same page. This is working together towards the same goal. Having some sort of contract here as well. 
as though the two of you were truly working for the same outcome. Common goal, common vision, and here is the vision with the King of Wands. There is something that they want to achieve with you, which is going to be, perhaps, if you accept it, life-changing. And so let's see, before seeing what they want to do, let's see how you feel towards this person right now, Scorpio. Okay, two main cards. All right, let me shuffle one more time. Death, Rebirth, and King of Swords. So you are seeing the potential for this to be different, right? You are very intuitive. You can read people really easily. But at times, your experiences from the past might make you see the person not as they really are. They might make you see the situation in a negative way, but just because you have gone through this and these people always seem to be excited to be with you, wanting to be with you, and then maybe they shift the focus on themselves. Maybe they ghost you or they disappear and it doesn't make sense. And so you see this person and you perceive a potential new energy that you haven't had never or in a while in your life and so you see that poten potential change but you're not jumping on it it doesn't surprise me because of what you might have gone through in the past but right now you're trying to be instead very logical you're trying to look at every single detail of the situation and almost trying to create a equation, trying to solve it from a math standpoint, as though you could explain love, you could explain energy with math. And you know, I actually agree with you on that because I always try to look at patterns and predict things through patterns. It happened before, it's going to happen again. But at times, the patterns that you see are not the full picture. There are times where you find the right people and you find uh, those energies that can truly make you happy. Those are part of the journey as well. The unfortunate thing with patterns is that we look at a specific window and we think that that's the whole journey. But unfortunately, that's not the case. The journey, it's much longer. And the only time where you can truly define a pattern, define and have some predictions as well, is at the end of the journey. And so you see how here you might be trying to be a little distant and protective, but at the same time, you are preventing yourself from experiencing something really beautiful with this person. Be wise and smart as you always are, but at the same time, don't deny yourself from having something so beautiful in your life and you know with judgment this is clearly about letting something go this is almost like creating a new skin for you we see here with the judgment in fact uh, a spiritual awakening and but also especially letting go of the shadow aspect of your past of your story this is still reflecting on past actions as you are doing here with the King of Swords, but don't let them define your future. Otherwise, you're just doing a disservice to yourself. Um, this is good energy, though. You are evaluating this person. You are evaluating yourself. Maybe you're thinking, uh, in the past, I jumped into situations like this too quickly. Maybe there was something wrong about how I started um, situations like this. Maybe there is something that I can change now. And with the King of Swords there, you might strategize and decide purposely to be distant, to seem distant to the person. Let's see how this person is going to react to this situation. Let's see 
how this connection is about to evolve because of this as well. Page of Wands, Page of Swords. This person is not gonna give up on you. I mean, we have the Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. By the way, King of Wands as well. You see with all these Wands, a lot of action. So expect big things from this person. They will, you will focusing on a potential issue and they will come to you already solving that issue you might talk about it and they say oh yeah i already fixed it it's all good it's all okay so they're moving fast and of course they're in front of a queen of wands regardless of your gender queen doesn't matter this is the energy the queen of wands guess what talks about being at the center of the attention and we've seen that with the six of wands so it's just natural that we're seeing it again now this is how they see you. Someone who deserves to be under the spotlight. Someone um, very beautiful, but also with high standards as well. Someone who knows that they are worth and that they deserve the best and they want to be the best for you. In a way, this person wants to stand up for you. Maybe you're going through something and they want to help out. But overall, we see how regardless of you trying to be distant, this person is here. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, they're going to send you a very exciting message, an invite, perhaps. Something will, which, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing so far, might set you free from these doubts, from this King of Swords energy. This person sees beyond what you show them. And we've seen that before. We see it with the Page of Swords. They might be looking you up or asking to people that you know in common. How does this person usually behave in that type of situation? What have they gone through in the past? They are doing their homework and they're learning things about you which will shock you because of their interpretation, because of how they will explain and justify even your behavior right now this is really beautiful and i want to see what the page wants what message is coming your way from this person what are they wanting to tell you at that point and how this message <laughs> wow how this met the high priestess this is double message we'll talk about it how this message is going to change the way you feel and the way you want to approach this relationship. How is this connection going to evolve in the near and distant future? Let's look into all of that. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. And also don't forget that every week, I randomly select people that have watched the extended video in order to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning, so please check your spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading, Scorpio. You have a lot of passion coming your way. Regardless of the fact that you believe in it or not, this is something that it's going to <clears throat> reawaken your heart and it's going to make you see that love is still possible for you. Perhaps you have started giving up on love, giving up on true connections. But what we're seeing here is that this person who's coming towards you or who maybe is already around you is going to be that new chapter. It's going to be that energy that can really change things up for you. And so if you're wanting for a change, this is already exciting. Now, we see how you don't want to jump into anything quickly, and I completely understand that. This person is not giving up on you regardless. Actually, we see there with the page of wands, a very exciting message, which potentially can set you free from your doubts and fears. So let's immediately look into that page of wands and see what that's about.
Page of Swords again. Two of Swords and Strength. Ooh, I did not see this coming, honestly. So...